The inaugural Printworks Printing Expo kicked off in Sydney on Monday, with a wide range of companies showing off new printers and related products. Dynapon Screen were exhibiting their new digital inkjet printing press at the expo, and Peter Scott said their press opened up new opportunities for newspaper companies. The machine is designed for shorter run work, so um, you know, it's more cost effective to run uh, shorter run work if you're doing um, foreign language newspapers or, uh, or remote sites, uh, for example, um, you know, rather than flying newspapers uh, to places like Darwin or Hobart. Mr Scott added that the ability to vary data during printing would allow newspaper companies to personalise their products. Some of the potential uh, uses for this system is uh, in um, one example would be cage posters um, uh, for doing those and you can vary those you know, for different regions and uh, different publications um, but also down to sort of the micro um, publications you know particular area targeting uh, real estate in that area or uh, targeting advertising for it even down to the individual is possible because it's ca capable of printing a, a different page per, per impression. The boss of the Newspaper Publishers Association, Mark Hollins, recently presented case studies in digital printing for newspapers to the industry. We, we produced a, a digital newspaper for the delegates at the Pampa Conference and uh, I had a fairly positive uh, set of feedback on it. It was, um, it was one of interest rather than revelationary. I mean, here's a copy here. It's Kevin Rudd's copy that I just made for a bit of amusement's sake. And here it has his name on it, his photograph. And, uh, and then there's a, uh, a front page photo which in fact can change and here's a, another person's copy with a different front page photo. And we created six variations and additions and we put people's names and personalised it right the way through the newspaper. So it was very different, it was very time consuming, it wasn't a particularly easy thing to do but once you would, have, once you would get used to the processes of how you do it I, I imagine it would get easier. Despite growing interest in digital printing worldwide, Mr. Holland said adopting the technology would require a new business model from the industry. Digital printing requires commercial nous and requires a sales department and a marketing department to go out into the marketplace and find companies or clients who are interested in this type of personalised publishing. Without that kind of activity in a newspaper office, uh, then there is really no point in buying a digital press. But if you don't get, um, get involved in uh, personalised products, uh, our newspaper colleagues are going to find themselves with competitors in the commercial world and uh, they simply can't pretend that if, uh, if the major companies don't do it, there is no need. You'll find that uh, as digital printing presses become cheaper and faster and all the technology gets better, the issue will be uh, the competitor who might be cutting our lunch. Nick Evershed, reporting for the NPA.